All right, we're gonna do a walk around the garden today. Um, we've recently, I haven't done one in a while. Uh, we had a dry spell for a while and then we've just had a bit of rain for the past couple of days. So these guys are looking hydrated, looking, looking nice. So we'll do a little walk around. Some of these seedlings are starting to really, really show what they're looking like. This nice rain we've had has kept them super blue, almost white. I'm not going to check every single one of these names, so if there's one that you want to know about, um, type in the comments just the, the time of the video and I can tell you which, what uh, species it is or the name or clone or cross, whatever. I find this one quite interesting as it gets these distinctively two spines that will point downwards um, and one spine that comes out. You can see it's got the two there, one coming out, two, one, two, one. And as it gets older, it's really showing that. And the, the um, specifically that one spine that comes out doesn't come out at the start. You got the two that come down, uh, the two that go up to the top but sort of to the side, and then that main central one comes out eventually. I think those ones have been broken off, but um, yeah, eventually that main one comes out. But no, I just find that quite interesting because you don't see a lot of them having a specific two spines that go down so, so much. might go uh oh and this one here um 
which was one of my favourites at the time, but it's not looking as cool anymore. But it's still nice. I don't I don't doubt that. But um just those the wrinkles it had and the lines were so spectacular. Uh and it had it on all sides and then now all this growth is just pretty normal. Hasn't done anything like it again. But it's still cool. But I would love if it went back to that. But oh well. Yeah, we'll go down here first. We've got our crests. This one I potted up. I don't, don't know if anybody saw when I potted this one up. But it's getting fat. I've been getting smashed with a bit of sun lately, that's why it's a bit yellow. I find um, my optimal sun is pretty much all of morning sun um, and no afternoon sun. So stopping the sun at about 1 or 2 p.m. Probably 1 would be best because I find if you go on this side... They don't lose any colour and they look really nice. But on this side, they'll get a bit of the, the yellowing like there. Some, some you get a really nice look from the um, sun, but some of them will burn or, or even just go like real quite yellowy. But that's the sun side. And that's the, uh, so afternoon, this is morning side, so it's a bit greener. Which I like the uh, greener look of it. That's looking real nice. This one's got a bit skinnier. It was looking really good up here. It's got a bit skinnier. I feel like the notches aren't as pronounced, but it's still nice. Probably because since then it's had this pup here. So a lot of its energy is going towards that, which is nice. That's uh, a no ID anyway, so I don't know what the cross is. This Scott Cross Sharks is looking fat. Hey buddy, where are you going? Whoops. Let me know what you guys prefer. This is a uh, 0.5 uh, zoom and uh, this is the one normal, uh, one time zoom. But yeah, let me know what you prefer. I feel like it's not as clear um, on this one. That's a bit better. I feel like this one's quite unique. You don't often see him looking specific like this with the blue, with the small aerials and a really nice V, but like a simple V. It's, it's quite a simple look on it, um, but it's unique I find. Got one of our graphs here, he's taken off, looking nice. Nothing spectacular about it yet, but we'll see. The wait and see. This guy's looking beautiful.
pretty blue scop there. I wonder what he is. Ah, uh, Rose One Cross Scop Scopula Cola from Big W. Yeah, okay. Um, here's some graphs. These I'm in the process of making a video on grafting, and I've used different techniques like uh, different tapes, uh, material rope, uh, elastic bands, a, a jar duct tape, a stocking, um, just to see what's taken. So it's actually pretty good. Most of them have taken. There's a couple, there's one that didn't take. Um, a couple that look like they're struggling, but majority of them have plumped up and they're looking really nice. Um, and even this one down here, this one was about up to this length and I cut it down there and usually you have to do the tip you have to cut the tip off and do it there because the vascular rings are more fresh but that was woody as like real woody the vascular rings um, and I put a seedling on there and I didn't think it would take but it did so I didn't realize that you can do that but I think it's the video will be quite interesting that'll be out I don't know you know few weeks or something once they've grown a bit more to really see what's taken we got a graft here which is looking pretty nice Got some bridges here that are just ridiculously blue, like crazy blue. And I do know quite a lot of bridges get do get blue, but usually it's the Peruvianus. Um, but this is like shark's blue kind of blue, and that's a uh, Psychonaut cross Roy. Which I wouldn't have ex expected to be honest, because Roy's, uh, is it a Pacanoi? Yeah, Pacanoi. I'm not sure how blue that one is, but, yeah. we got our unknown here. Got some mutated stuff going on there. Not sure what'll happen there. As well as on this side. Can't really see it too clearly with the water, but oh well. Uh, what have we got here? <clears throat> um, this guy. I'm always raving about this guy, but I'm loving him. He's got some cool long spines here. They're getting. Real long. The pups are getting bigger. This guy. Now we'll make our way back over here. 
What have we got going on? Another real blue scopula cola there. I would probably say that's another. Oh, actually, it's it's got a question mark on it, so no ID. But I would assume that's kind of like a uh, sharks cross scop, maybe, or some other blue. Oh no, one's fallen over. Might have to cut that. Real nice. These guys have a unique look about them, that one. This one as well. And this one. Um, and this one is quite unique. It has an odd look to it. Super blue. And it's just, it's just had this sort of like this smooth part here. No indentations, like hardly at all. Just real odd, simple looking. But then on the top, it's just starting to put out real indented Vs. I'm not too sure, is it gonna keep the indentations? Is it going to smooth out like down here? I don't know, but I don't remember seeing it like that at the top. Um, but I'm interested to see. Our fat boy over here, he's, the girth is continuing. These guys are getting taller and taller. Uh, we got our bolt wood. The pup has gotten huge. In... And it's also getting ridiculously tall. Quite a uh, real blue Pacanoi. Got the uh, tundra there, showing off some real nice variegation. And this graft has really amazed me. So far, this, this thing's killer. Like, I'm loving it. I think this thing could really turn out to be something super unique. Yeah, for anyone that's into carnivorous plants, there's some stuff we recently got. And the good old CSD, looking fresh.
bolt wood. Got a little loft graft going on. Another graft over there. So that one's variegated. I don't know if you can see on that side. On the bottom left. Yeah. So it doesn't seem to be continuing, but we'll we'll might cut it and get it to pop again and if we really have to. Uh, we've also got this one here, you can see some variegation on there. It's continuing up here a little bit. Um, a little bit over there. But it's looking pretty nice even without the variegation. But it'd be nice if we could keep it. Um, some blue ones going on. These guys looking nice. Variegation on this guy's kind of stopped. About maybe there. So yeah, we might cut him there or something and see if something comes up. It's got variegation all down here too. But, um, yeah, it's unfortunately stopped. Maybe I could even do some graphs of these things, trying to get the uh, variegation out. Or to continue it. Guys, looking nice. This guy's been a bit sucked dry there since we didn't have rain for a little while. Wow, it's super thin. He's got two. Juicy pups he's pushing out down there. So he's trying to limit how much growth goes on him, but he's still looking nice at the top. This fatty. Um, this guy's been a favourite of mine recently. Just, I just like the look of him, really. All oh, those there, it's beautiful. We've got our uh, seedlings freshly uh, rained on, looking nice. A little bit yellow, but hopefully with the rain we're getting, they're going to green up a bit. They probably need to fertilise um, soon too, to be honest. 
Getting some crazy long spines from these guys. And uh, where was it? This one here. For a seedling, that's that's pretty long. Wow, the thickness of all of this. All right. We've got these seedlings that I've moved. They're going all right. They're a bit shaded, but they're worse off where they were before. So hopefully they'll get a bit more sun here because these guys are all oh. see that's why you gotta check your seedlings because they fill up with water. I like to just stab the bottom. And then you can see the water leaking out there. Might just do another one. There we go. Um, because, you know, sometimes I don't take notice, so they've got to be... I've got to make sure there's holes in them. Otherwise, they're going to drown. Um, and sometimes I'll put a hole in it, but the roots will fill the holes. So it takes ages for the water to fall out. But they're all looking pretty good. This graft is taken off. Zero entity cross Trojan Llama, which is a scop cross Pachnoi. But the Trojan Llama brings out quite a lot of um, mutants. It's looking real scop like. A bit of mutated stuff going on, so it's nice. But it's probably one of the fattest um, grafts I've got at the moment. But these are my own seeds from the Spatianus over there. Um, and crossed with whatever else. Well, actually, I think it's just a mix of everything. So, it is... Packed. Um, so it'll be quite an effort to separate these later on, but I'm not too worried about how many die here. As long as I get a good handful, which <laughs> by the looks of it, I'm going to have a massive handful. I can't imagine even 80% of this is going to die. Um, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't even wouldn't bother me even if I could only save a square of this, because that there is ridiculously. A large amount so yeah whatever happens I'll, I'll deal with it um, right. that guy's taken off this grass actually is quite big but he hasn't done much for me he's pretty boring to be honest I know sometimes you can't see what they really look like with grafting, like um, the CSD. The CSD you'll find if you graft it, it does grow quite fast, but it won't bring out those mature characteristics until a bit longer. So I'm thinking I'm not going to really see the true mature characteristics of this until maybe here or something. So that's my goal is to wait till it gets here. See what it looks like and um, get it on its own roots and probably chuck on a new graft on there or something.
one of these graphs is quite cool too even though the stock is really um, still quite small it's still pumping it quite a lot That'll be interesting, getting bigger. Lots of pops on this guy. This is a uh, No Thinks. We've got a HBO8 pup here. Which, if anyone wants the HBO8 pup, um, and you're in Australia, let me know and I'll ship to you if you want. Um, but I'd probably wait till it gets at least like double the size, if not bigger. Because otherwise you're going to wait for it to take ages to root and and get to a decent size. But yeah, I'm really liking this notchy guy. And um, the pup's getting quite notchy. Really nice. And then there's this one that's quite similar, but a lot more blue. But he gets real notchy too. Or like sawtooth, but not like PC. This is actually nice, nice looking. No pups on him though. Oh no, there is a pup. But he's pretty small. These guys are still looking phenomenal. He's, uh, yeah, he's right up there. We got this guy, which is again one of my favourites, and I'm I'm always keeping an eye on him. He's just added uh, another rib there, so we got what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ribs, going from eleven to twelve ribs, which is pretty cool. Getting squishy in there. Nice. Yeah, those guys are getting quite tall. All of them are, really. Sharks blue cross TPM or something. That guy is getting huge. I might have to put him in a pot. Kai's looking nice. He's got a pretty solid four ribbed pup there. Or four ribbed column, I suppose. It's not really a pup anymore. Um, really nice looking. It's got another pup down there, another pup down there. Looking super healthy. And then it's had a four ribbed. And it started doing some mutator stuff, which is nice. Ah. Oh. That is just crisp. Really crisp. That's a piece of artwork right there. Nature's art.
But then it's also got this rib here, which is not ugly, but um, it's funny how it can do four ribbed, mutated, and um, going on to what six ribs there, yeah. Sharks blue, looking blue, and fat. There's the uh, top one there. Um, this one, this one's John Cross Sharks, I think. Yeah, John Cross Sharks blue. Um, yeah. Good uh, HBO seven. HBO 8. Oh my god. I have not looked at this guy in a while. Wow. That shit's notchy. Like, not notchy, but what's the word? Chunky. Wow. I might have to get a chair to see that top for you guys. Pretty crazy. And um, I've just noticed he's got a pretty fat pup down there too. A little bit of damage there from something. But that's cool. Um, that guy's doing its thing with this guy that hasn't done much in a while. I'll put the 0.5 on over here so you can see a bit more. See, I've got this here, and a lot of people freak out about this, but do not freak out. It um, usually goes away. Uh, unless it's in terrible uh, conditions, then sometimes it'll get worse or it'll come back frequently. But like I get this every now and again on different different ones, um, and a lot of the time, yeah, it just goes black, and you can see in the very centre there, it's um, it's healing up, it's scarring over, and the black, none of the black is getting deeper in, it's just sort of surface level, and it might terminate and have to pop out again, or it might be able to continue pushing through there. It depends how much how far it got damaged. What do we got here? This guy's getting tall. The Quamby. Huge. Got a couple of pups there. Looking fabulous. This guy's looking. Oh, it's got a bit of uh, sun damage or something in there. nice this one looks quite a lot like um, what's it called big plim that's it which is right here so that one and that one I wonder what it is JAC001 cross Tunjo. I can I'm not sure what the JAC001 looks like, but I can see the Tunjo in there. Tunjo looks quite quite packanoy and um a little bit notchy too. There's another graft. He's looking interesting. Um another graft just there. Oh, and I missed a couple of the other graphs. There's one there. Really is not doing much at all. That one there, which is staying quite skinny, which I really don't like skinny 
um, skinny cacti. It's got to be super unique if it's going to be skinny. We got our Sam's 02 here, looking freaky. Our TPM Cross N1 is got some freaky pups coming out. There's one, there's two, um, and it's got these things going. It's quite interesting. Starting off as one, splitting off into three, one terminates, two comes up. Splits off into four, well, two and two, and then, yeah. That one is still going. Actually, I think they're all still going. I, I was thinking that might be terminated, but that dark spot there is a spine. Um, but yeah, looking fabulous and spectacular and freaky. As always, Notchy Bridge. This Notchy guy's looking tall and mighty. Um, yeah, all those guys down the back getting tall. They're gonna hit the guttering soon. I have to cut those, or eat. I probably won't cut them. I'll probably transplant them into a pot or something. Um, I suppose that's about it for now. Just a quick little update. And yeah, see you later.